guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is kemi and you are watching milano door here on youtube today's video as you already know is going to be about how i study for a level chemistry i get a couple questions about how i revise for specific subjects and i decided i'm just going to turn this into a little series and just tell you guys how i revise for all three of my subjects next i'll be posting about how i revise for psychology so if you are interested in that do make sure to keep on the alert make sure you have your post notifications on so you don't miss that video and after psychology will obviously be biology so make sure you guys have your notifications on so you don't miss any of those also guys we hit 300 subscribers so welcome to anyone that is new here okay cool so i'm just gonna get straight into the video so i study a level chemistry as i've already mentioned and as you already know my school uses the exam board aqa for chemistry to be honest all of my subjects are aqa so biology is aqa psychology is aqa so everything's going to be aqa however it doesn't really matter because my studying technique or my revision technique isn't specific to my exam board i just thought i'd put that information out there for you guys so you guys know so we're going to start off with the first phase of studying which is my initial learning <laughs> is practically when the teacher teaches me the content unpopular thing i don't take notes in class well actually i don't take notes at all but for now i don't take notes in class at all i literally just sit down and allow the teacher to teach me i allow myself to be taught i think it's very very counterproductive that most people sit in class and take notes whilst you're supposed to be taught you can't make revision materials whilst you're being taught the content it just doesn't make sense obviously every now and then i do jot something down if i notice it's not in my textbook but for the most part i don't write anything in my classes unless it's a task literally in the class all i have is my book out my folder out so i can access the pack which i will get into in the next phase and i literally just sit and highlight anything that um, stands out to me anything that my teacher has made prominent and I just listen I literally just listen I recommend you guys do this too because it really doesn't make sense to make notes in class to me one reason being that everything that the teacher is teaching is literally in this textbook so if you want to make revision materials it's not as though you have to get it done there and there in the lesson you can do that separately after being taught and use it as a form of consolidation the second reason why it doesn't make sense to make notes in class is because you're not fully listening to what the teacher is saying to you and your full attention isn't on the teacher on what's being taught and you don't want this you want to be fully attentive and listening so that you get the most out of your teacher's teaching one thing that one of my friends said to me that you guys can take on board is that you will always have your textbook but you won't always have your teacher's presence. Like your teacher won't always teach it to you. Especially in A-level, we don't go back a million times. As in year one is for year one content, year two is for year two content. For the most part, your teachers don't go back. At my school, we started learning GCSE content at year nine. So from year nine all the way to year 11, our teachers went back to content we had previously learned. You don't get that privilege in a level so you need to be listening when the teacher is teaching you there and then because you're not really going to get that same teaching again but you will always have your textbook so you can always make notes apologies if there's like a change in lighting or the way the camera set up my phone died you need to get a camera using my phone to record actually is not ideal so hopefully we can invest in that soon yeah taking notes in class isn't practical you want to be able to ask a teacher as many questions as possible and make sure that you sort out the base foundation knowledge from the get-go so then that moves us to the second phase of studying which i call secondary learning <laughs> This would be when I start making my notes. However, I don't make notes for chemistry anymore. I literally just get the notes off of Camrevise. So what that means is in this phase, I print off the Camrevise notes and read through them to reconsolidate, reconsolidate, to consolidate my knowledge. So I have my chemistry folder here and I'm just gonna show you guys one of the notes that I have printed off from Camrevise. This is for the topic alkenes. It literally misses out nothing and you can annotate it and add anything that it has missed and literally just make the notes yours. They don't only have AQA, they have other 
exam boards too and it's completely free it's literally free guys i recommend doing this because it cuts out all the time that you spend making revision materials and therefore it speeds up your process of studying you can now focus on making sure you actually understand the content and you know how to apply your knowledge in exam scenarios after i've printed off the notes from chem Revise, typically i would actually print off the notes before um we're being taught I'm not gonna lie, I don't print them off after. I print them off before the topic so that I have them throughout the topic with me. But um, after printing off the notes and reading through them, I would now move on to the pack that my school provides and read through that. That also has questions in it. So I'm not only reading, I'm also like trying to think and remind myself of certain things that I've been taught. This is the pack for the Alkenes topic. You can see inside that it kind of just goes through it. You have to fill in the blanks and do things like that. There's some more stuff that I've already done and like filled in and here as well. It basically just goes through every single subtopic in that topic. If there's anything that I've forgotten or don't know, I refer to my chemistry book. That is like my form of consolidating my knowledge and just making sure I fill in any gaps that I have. If your school doesn't provide you a pack, I'm sure that you can find some sort of packs online that are free. I think I've seen some myself because other schools upload theirs onto the internet. I'm sure that you can still find some sort of um, alternative. So after I've read through the camera visor notes that I've printed and I've gone through the pack, it will now be time for me to self-assess myself. When I self-assess myself, I basically use the end of chapter test in the A-level chemistry book. This is an example of the test for um, chapter 11. I'll basically do that and I can get the answers for them online and then I'd mark it and assess where my weak spots are and what I clearly have forgotten. I've never gotten 100% in a test, so I always have room for improvement. So I always have some sort of weak spot that I need to tackle. So this then moves me on to the next phase, which is tackling my weak spot. <laughs> it's just a case of memory so I just haven't remembered what to do with certain questions or I haven't remembered certain parts of the content but to tackle this I literally just read over my notes and make sure that um, the parts that I've forgotten stick essentially just memorizing and to go with that I also just do exam questions one thing that I've noticed about chemistry is that they hardly change up their exam questions the exam questions that come about practically identical they've just changed a couple words or the element or the compound and the numbers but essentially most of the questions have the same nature me constantly doing exam questions will also reinforce that memory and make sure i remember what i'm doing for each type of question and it also improves your exam technique sometimes if i really can't sort it out by myself if i really am just literally baffled by the content i will ask my friends that are in my class or just study the same topic usually they know and they can help me out but if it's a thing where literally everyone's just confused then it's sad to say but my last resort is to ask the teacher but i feel like i can learn a lot more from my peers than from my teachers when it comes to things that i'm confused with because sometimes teachers don't always like sort out when you don't understand something with us we're all students we're all in it together so i usually pick up things more easily when i don't understand it from other people but if you guys don't understand something and you've already gone to your teacher but you haven't asked your peers just ask them i know with some people it's a thing of like they don't want to seem dumb to the rest of the class but honestly everyone's in the same boat no one's looking at what you're doing so by the time i've gone through all of those steps and i've tackled my weak spots and there's no parts of the content that i'm not okay with we would have had an assessed homework by now i'm not gonna lie sometimes i get a little bit lazy and i don't pattern the content before the assessed homework I don't do it straight off of my mind. Assessed homeworks are open books, so sorry, I've just gone on as if you guys know what assessed homeworks are. If your school doesn't use assessed homeworks, essentially what it is, is a test as homework. Like it's literally a test as homework. I'll show you guys one now. This is one of my assessed homeworks. I'm just covering my school because <laughs> we don't want you guys to know that, but I just see it's literally just a test as homework. Usually use assessed homeworks as ways to reconsolidate my knowledge and just reinforce everything i don't do them closed book because they are open book like we're allowed to use help if we need it i also forgot to mention we only get assessed homeworks once we finish the topic so after an assessed homework comes the end of topic test which is the next stage for studying <laughs> 
leading up to my end of topic test all i do and i kid you not i don't do anything else but exam questions exam questions exam questions and i usually go through each subtopic in the topic and do exam questions focused on that subtopic i then do an overall mini test to test myself before the end of topic test then i can get a feel for where i am and what needs to change what i need to improve to ensure that i get a good enough grade in the end of topic test very much focused on making sure i understand making sure i can tackle exam questions and that is about it for what i do to study chemistry